that lovely, lovely quadratic formula. If factoring doesn't work, because you can't factor, all quadratics are not factorable. It'd be great if they were, but the reality is all quadratics are not factorable. And really, when you're talking about the real world, the majority of quadratics are not factorable. Or, you know, if you're just really struggling fi figuring out factors, I get it. Sometimes the, those problems, when that A is composite, when it has multiple factors, it can get a little tricky trying to figure them out. Your quadratic formula will always work. It will solve any quadratic out there. Your quadratic formula will solve any quadratic equation out there. Doesn't matter. Uh, it'll solve that one. Okay, it'll solve number 20 that we were just working on. You have to be careful because you got to recognize that C is zero because you don't have a constant term, but it will solve that quadratic. Um, but still has to be equal to zero to solve. And just as a reminder, here's your standard form ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero. There's your standard form. A is the coefficient with the x squared, B is the coefficient with the x, C is the constant by itself. Here is your quadratic formula if you don't remember it from that too. Okay, x equals, because that's what we're doing, we're solving for x. x equals negative b. This tends to trip people up. Negative b just means you change the sign of b. So if it was positive in your quadratic, it becomes negative. If it was negative in the quadratic, it becomes positive. Excuse that part of the interruption. If you don't mind, would we have all sophomores please report to the main gym for our sophomore meeting? All sophomores please report to the main gym for our sophomore meeting. Okay. Oh, 